On June 2nd, the National Crime Agency carried out an operation collaborated with various European law enforcement partners that resulted in the arrest of 756 individuals and the seizure of firearms, vehicles, and luxury. The operation was a collaborative investigation effort with Europol on EncroChat, a suspected service provider used by organized crime members to carry out illegal activities. Europol has been the center for several arrests and operations within Europe and has been considered as the EU's policing agency. How does European law enforcement cooperation work, and what is Europol? European law enforcement cooperation has been around since the late 1970s and up to the establishment of the European Union in 1993. Matters in European crime and policing has been entrusted by Europol, or the European Police. Officially named as the European Union Agency for Law Enforcement Cooperation, Europol is based in The Hague It is not to be confused with Interpol, or the International Criminal Police Organization. Both intergovernmental entities share a degree of common interest in law enforcement cooperation and asset crime agency, but we will look into the differences between Europol and Interpol later on. Europol has been the de facto European law enforcement agency within the EU since it was established as an anti-drugs unit in 1993 and officially becoming an EU agency in 2010. Europol functions more as a coordination agency that conducts criminal intelligence and assistance to law enforcement agencies within the EU's 28-1 member states. Europol can be traced back to Trevi, or the Terrorism, Radicalism, Extremism, Violence, and Internationally. Trevi was established in 1976 by the European Community's Justice and Interior Ministers to discuss and counter terrorist attacks in the 1970s, most notable of which was the 1972 Munich Massacre. Trevi's concern soon expanded from addressing terrorism within Europe and internationally to cross crime borders within the European communities. According to German Chancellor Helmut Kohl, speaking at a European summit in Luxembourg in 1991, he proposed for a European police agency to be established to that of the American FBI. Similarly, in 1996, Irish Taoiseach John Brutton called for a European FBI-style police force to be established. He was quoted saying, we must have the same level of sophistication as states upholding democratic values and law and order as, unfortunately, the crime organizations are able to organize too easily. The concept idea for a European police agency was eventually proposed by the German delegates in the European Council, which prompted a discussion on how to tackle crime and guarantee security within a European-wide scope. By 1992, the concept of a European police was given solidarity within the Maastricht Treaty, specifically in Article K1, which states, Police cooperation for the purposes of preventing and combating terrorism, unlawful drug trafficking, and other serious forms of international crime, including if necessary certain aspects of customs cooperation, in connection with the organization of a union-wide system for exchanging information within a European police office, Europol. This treaty gave the European Council to take steps in the formalization of European police cooperation, resulting in the establishment of the Europol Drugs Unit, or EDU, in 1993. While the EDU was the predecessor to Europol, its area and operational scope were far limited to what it was today. The EDU was mandated to assist national police forces in criminal investigations. Over the years, its mandate soon expanded into other elements such as terrorism, motor vehicle crime, and organized crime, which further developed the agency as a pan-European police force. By 1995, the EDU would be succeeded by Europol under the Europol Convention. However, they didn't commence operations until July 1999, when all of EU member states had to ratify the Europol Convention. Jürgen Storbeck was appointed as Europol's first director in 1999, having been the former head for the Bundeskriminalamt, or the Federal Criminal Police Organization, BKA. By the 2000s, Europol was now a fully-fledged law enforcement agency, albeit with no arrest powers, that expanded its operational mandate in child abuse, terrorism, and financial forgery. Their authority and jurisdiction had also expanded into a cooperation agreement with third states. One of Europol's most effective role as an international law enforcement agency within Europe is its linkage with local authorities on a database system. Much like Interpol that operates a red notice system to its member states, Europol operates two types of systems. The first being is the European Information System, or EIS, which stores data related to persons suspected or likely of having committed an offense under Europol's jurisdiction. The second one is the Analysis Work Files, an extensive index system created by Europol's analysts and national experts. These two systems have been a major asset to Europol's functionality in its mandate to assist criminal investigations and its share link with national police authorities. 
It's important to note that some EU member states have access or special agreements to Europol's work. Such case was Denmark in 2015, when its citizens rejected a referendum that would have opted Denmark in the area of freedom, security, and justice. Because of this referendum, Denmark was not permitted to participate in new regulations nor was allowed to be a member of Europol. The Danish government insisted on remaining as a member of Europol to allow its law enforcement agencies have access to Europol's database. An agreement was struck between Denmark and the European Union on a cooperation deal in late 2016 and was promptly accepted by the Danish and European Parliament in 2017. The importance of Europol's database was brought in in 2001, when Europol and Interpol signed an agreement that allowed sharing critical criminal intelligence, which strengthened the works of both Interpol and Europol. Alright, speaking of Interpol, what is the difference between Europol and Interpol? Well, there are a few differences here and there, but Interpol focuses more on the international stage, while Europol focuses more on the European continent. However, Europol would be far more efficient than that of Interpol because of its broad authority to assist in criminal investigations, and investigations considered with cross-crime border as mentioned earlier. With Interpol, it doesn't exactly have that kind of capability due to political scrutiny with its own member states, like China, Russia, and the United States. In other words, Europol operates far efficient than Interpol.